everybody, this is Alessandra. As you could see, we're not in my house today, but we are in my brother's house and my lovely sister-in-law, Gaetana. And with me today, I have my nephew, very special. He has my father's name, Gaetano. Gaetano, what are we making today? Pizza Chiena. No, 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 pizza Chiena. Pizza Chiena, pizza rustica. Tu sei italiano, lo devi dire bene. Che facciamo oggi? Pizza Chiena. Ah, ma Okay, so let's get started. Uh, this is one of the recipes my mother made at the deli. Uh, for those of you that watch me, you know she had a deli for many years with my brother. And this is a way also in the delis for, that, for the deli owners to use up all the little ends of the cold cuts. Uh, not that it makes it any less delicious. It's basically, it's almost like a quiche, an Italian quiche used around uh, Easter time. So let's get started. We have a lot. Uh, of cold cuts here on the table. You can see we have sopressata, prosciutto, mortadella, ham, more sopressata here. You can use regular salami. What you put in it is really up to you what you like. Uh, but it must have ricotta. I have basket cheese, which you find right around this time. Uh, we're gonna add eggs, mozzarella, pecorino romano and parmigiano. And uh, then we're also gonna be making the crust. The crust is flour, eggs, baking powder, butter, I add the butter out. Oh, I put it back in the fridge because it needs to be cold. Yes, and a little bit of sugar. That sugar will just add that little extra touch, making it different from all the pizza china, all the pizza rusticas you've had. Gaetano, I'm very proud of him. He's won the Pro Start third. He made third place in the Pro Start um, culinary what culinary what kind of time? Uh, what was it it was a col state. culinary it was culinary competition in the state of new jersey, jersey and yeah. called pro start and gaetano made third place very proud of him he's going to be chopping cube all your cold cuts so when you buy him have them slice it in one a half an inch thickness and then you cut them up in little cubes beautiful gaetano when you work together it moves quick and um, my nephew is doing a great job I thought you're doing the prosciutto huh mm -hmm. let's get the crust made and we'll get this in the fridge because uh, the crust needs to rest a little bit also so we don't want it sitting out with the coconuts all right Tana, let's get it all put away Okay, let's get started, Tana. So we're gonna add the flour. Perfect. Then we're going to do the baking powder, just a teaspoon of that, a little bit of the sugar. I'm using salted butter, so don't add any salt. And also the mixture is pretend oh, the coconuts are salty, so you don't wanna add excess salt. Butter cold, I cubed it, it's nice and cold out of the fridge. Let's get it started. Hook attachment. You could also do this right on the counter. Let's add the butter little pieces at a time. The flour is going to pick up all the butter and it's going to re resemble sand. And then once that happens, you're ready to slowly add the eggs. Okay, see the difference? My nephew said, let's crack the eggs one at a time. And he's right, because if you get a small rag, you ruin everything. Oh. You want to come closer and see how the dough comes together? The dough formed beautifully. We're going to go ahead and move it over to the work counter. Okay, Tana's going to need the dough for us just make fine una bella pagnotta Gaetano don't overwork it because it's got to be a nice flaky yep perfect just create a nice bowl and we're going to just so add, cover with saran wrap and let it rest in the fridge for about an hour right and then they do this okay it's going the bella Lo apriamo così. 
in the fridge. I'll put the measurements uh, on the recipe even if you want to uh, make less because this is going to be a big pizza here now, right? You can never have enough. We got the eggs uh, already scrambled, so go ahead and add the cheese in the Gaetano. I want to show you the basket cheese. You only find this around Easter time. If you cannot get it in your local Italian store, it's okay. Just add more ricotta in it. It's going to be delicious too. But you see how the basket cheese comes? It has a very interesting consistency. I just want you to come closer and see. Take a look at that. And it's so delicious. Fresh cracked like pepper. You could be generous with that, but no added salt. Egg mixture in. Go ahead, Tano, just mix it up. This is nice to so have a strong nephew helping in the kitchen, huh? This makes it a lot of fun, Tano, thank you. Make sure you have a large, large bowl to get the soul mixed. Tano, go ahead, usa i muscoli, azia, dai. Mischia tutto, get everything mixed. Little uh, technical difficulties, right? So here we go, we're moving it to a larger bowl. Come si dice in italiano? Abbondanza. Bisogna abbondare. Okay, there it goes. Perfect. Okay. okay, look. Look, this is the battles. What are you doing, Joseph? This is my other nephew. <laughs> As you roll the side, always make sure you flour it so like that when you move it at the bottom, it doesn't stick and it makes for easy stretching. So let's get it rolled on the rolling pin. Tano, get it right there. Okay, and right over. Right? Perfetta, perfetta, perfetta. Come on, Tano, help us here. Dai, aiutami, lo facciamo insieme. Okay, so it's all nice and flat inside. Tano, trim the sides because we're going to use the sides to roll it out again and use it for the top. Perfect, Tia. Okay, beautiful. Okay, I think we're gonna have a chef in the family, huh? Prick the bottom of the plate. And let's get the mixture in. And Gaetano's gonna roll out the top. Tano, let's grab it. You have, yeah, Tia, pesante. It's too heavy for me. Go ahead, you do it. Just set it in. Oh, la la. Just flatten it out nicely. Now Tano rolled it. Oh my God, I'm, this makes me so happy to be doing this with you, Tano. Same. You know that, see? We're you don't seem so... Eh, brava, see? No poche entusiasmo, yamma, see? Okay, let's go. Uh, now, what are you gonna do? Trim it? Go ahead, Tano, trim it. Trim it for Zia. Make sure you go down first, that it touches the dough. What I'm going to do is, with a fork, just make little holes on top so the steam could escape okay now what i'm going to do like this just twist and push down just twist and push down okay final touch before it goes in the oven we're going to uh egg wash it okay it's pretty heavy Thomas said in the oven 350 we'll check back in a little bit okay out of the oven Tano, put it down, don't burn yourself. Take a look, this is what it needs to look like. That golden color, the crust is nice and crunchy. Now it's gonna have to cool down completely before you cut it. If you cut it, it's gonna run and you're gonna have a, da a disaster. So it's gonna have to cool down. Come closer, we're gonna cut it together. Where do I start? It's so beautiful. I hate to do this. Okay, I'm gonna start right here because we're just, we just really want to taste it. Oh, guarda un po'. Look at that. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Che profumo. Bellissimo. Okay, let's taste it. Tano, guy, you go first, Azia. Hai lavorato tanto oggi per fare la pizza piena, vero? Yes, 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 yes. Com'è? Un po' di grosta? Wow. Delicious. Com'è? Buona, eh? To make it again. This is so yummy. I need to try it. Delicious. Okay. 
Thank you for uh, my brother and my sister-in-law for hosting me today here and for Gaetano for helping me and Joseph for picking all the dough. Thank you everybody. Grazie, buona Pasqua. Alla prossima, arrivederci. Ciao, ciao. Come si dice Gaetano? Ciao. Buona Pasqua. Buona Pasqua. No, buona Pasqua. Buona Pasqua. Buona Pasqua. Okay, we'll keep practicing. Thank you. Make these recipes and share the videos. While the pizza here is in the oven, Tana, what do we do? We have nice, we have pasta, le penne, con, polpette e bracciole. Look at the red of this sauce. This is what you call the Sunday sauce. Ecco qua. Mm.